two old school buddies back together again after all this time? Buddies? It's just like two classes together. It's three. So, Mac. So, you cut this lady's hair before? No. Where's the concierge? The what? The doorman. There was a man who used to hang out by the door, but they caught him eating a pigeon. Oh, look! Stairs! Right, you two, grab the bag. I'm not doing it. I'm just the driver. Yeah. You're in charge of, like, transport. Like, transporting this. You're the assistant. You should assist in getting it up the stairs. Oh, one of you! OK. What are you doing? I really shouldn't be telling you this, but I am on a secret mission from HQ. What mission? Sorbet Hair Care are opening a global office here. I might be Alanda Sorbet, but I don't just sit around the pool getting my nails done. I mean, why else would I be touching an old woman's hair? I thought it was, like, a sexual thing. What? I thought you just needed the money. <laughs> I needed the money! <laughs> Me! <laughs> Good one. You are hilarious. None of us need the money. I do. I do. Right. Of course you do. But that is why this is such a great opportunity. You guys are in on the ground floor. What, cos the lift's broken? No. I mean, when they open the global office, you guys could be in for some serious dividends. This bag belongs in a museum. It used to be my mum's when she did hair around here. What, you used to live in Catford? Oh, yeah, totally. LA is amazing, but Catford runs in my veins. How can I always be a Catford girl at heart? Do you know what I mean, love? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was in your shoes. Not literally, they're disgusting. But you guys are really in for the jackpot. Yeah. No, play your cards right and you can get yourself a corner office, a private plane, personal shopper. <sighs> what perks did you get at your old job? Free biscuits. Hmm. Are these gluten free? Uh, ingredients, kelp, liver, bone marrow. Bone marrow? These are dog biscuits! Yeah. Ugh. I told you I got them from my work. I thought you worked at a salon. Yeah, for dogs. Oh God, please tell me that you've worked at a human salon before. I've worked at a human salon before. OK, only tell me that if it's true. I've never worked at a human salon before. <sighs> so the only hairdressing experience you've had is with fur? And nails. I mean, like claws. That woman is going to crucify us if we are a millisecond late. And if she hears about... Just... Give me those. Bon voyage! Favourite biscuit. It's actually lit in there. Here's our Malibu Beach House. I'm a controlled shoe closet. Nah, man. I'm done. We're almost there. I've done a million stairs. Where's my dividends? Yeah, enough about your climate control closet. It's a, it's a wardrobe, by the way. How about a, how about a down payment for old Muggins and Mugwina here? Yeah. Otherwise, we're not moving. All right. More notes, is uh, it? Well, you wanted your dividends. I'm drawing up dividends. Dividends is money. You went like that. That was me feeling the dividend certificate. D this is worth millions. You're not serious. Come on now. Who's taking the bag? You have it. No, I don't want it. It's not you. have done nothing. <laughs> 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 Got your, your secret mission. <sighs> secret mission? Me and my mum skipped bail. Sorbet's lawyers want us locked up. What happened? Just a little incident with the shampoo. What sort of incident? Made everyone's hair fall out. We're being sued for millions by 230 bald women. Yeah, I'd be like, keep your hair on. 
Can't your mum do something? My mum hasn't left the couch in four days. This morning I found her crying into her pillow. Well, technically it's a wine box pouch she uses for a pillow. How am I supposed to take care of her when all of our assets are frozen, our bank account's locked, and we're totally cut off? No Malibu beach house. No shoe closet. Wardrobe. Do you remember the last day of term when we were at school and I brought in my Sylvanian family's collection and, and Derek Morris, he took, he took my Beechwood Manor and all the cottages and he just threw them in the terrapin tank. And, and, and then at lunchtime, you came up to me and you gave me a Sony Discman with the Beverly Hills Cop 2 soundtrack on it. What I'm trying to say is, I've got your back. And what about you? No, nah, I'm not in love with you. Right, well, no, she means, well, she, she's fully on board. She's fully on board. What she's trying to say is that, uh, like, uh, as three friends, the three amigos, which is Spanish for friends. That, that's right, isn't it, Tash? I've got a restraining order from every pooch palace in the southeast, so any job will do, really. That touches me. Here. So let's grab that bag and give that old lady the best haircut of her probably quite mediocre life. Let's go! Come on. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll do great. I know things are looking pretty bleak right now, but you know, this is cat food. No one's gonna come and look for you here. Yeah, you're just being a bit paranoid. Yeah, I know. Do you think she'll have biscuits? Old ladies do love a biscuit. I think they tend to go for a soft snack, you know, because of the dentures. She can get a soft biscuit, or maybe she does. I hope she doesn't, you know, smell. Don't know. I'm sorry, it's just some old people have a smell. Right. Same with dogs.